What's up guys, Ghost here, and today I thought I would show you guys about something that has remained hidden from me for quite a few years, apparently, and that is an add-on you can get, or rather a plugin, for most browsers out there. So it's called Better Battle Log, and as you can imagine, it enhances Battle Log's features, gives it more features, you can change different themes on there, it's pretty damn cool, so I would really recommend going over to the website here, which I will leave in the comment section down below, and downloading the latest version. If you're using Chrome like myself, it basically pops up with something asking you to click yes, click yes, it will install and that is about it. You can also get versions for Firefox and for Opera if that's your thing, but don't ask me how to install as I never really use those browsers. Alrighty, so with that said, Let's show you guys what it will do. Basically, battle log will appear to be exactly the same, but you will have this little tab here over the left that you can mouse over to reveal a myriad of different options here. And I'm going to let you guys go and check over those options by yourselves. I'm not going to read them all out into this video, but I'm going to show you some of the things that I think are the coolest about having better battle log. So first of all, the themes, right? This is just the regular battlefield theme, as you will notice. So if we go here down to themes, click on there. At the moment, we have five different themes available, and battlefield hardline theme sounds pretty good. So let's click on that. Setting save to apply change. You must reload the page. All right, F5, and boom! All of a sudden, things look quite different. You have this nice hardline picture in the background. If you scroll over the buttons, you've got this nice little you know, mouse over effect there that looks pretty snazzy and really everything just looks like the same way as it did in the hardline beta actually, it's just pretty damn cool uh, you can change to other ones in here, let's check it out again battle log 2 theme, this is something different, so you know you guys I'm only going to show you these two, you can mess around with the rest of them as you can see this one actually sets up battle log in a completely different fashion you can have all the menus to the left, the chat to the right alright, so with that, let's show you the next best feature of this, and um, that is actually the server browser. You can save your filters, so all you have to do is put whatever filters you like. As you can see, I've already made a couple of presets here. One is called Jets, which is the one I have selected at the moment, so if I click on Jets, it will just reload the page, and then I'll have all of the filters for all of the jet maps on here, and Conquest, Conquest, Large selected. If I click on All, then as you can see, it reverts back to having nothing selected so I can see everything and you can make whatever filters you want if you want pistol only servers if you want sniper maps that you enjoy you know you can just feel free to do that as you see fit really really cool feature you're also going to notice here that you get some more information about servers it will show you how many commanders there are in the server and also how many spectators there are in the game and here is another nice feature of the server browser you know sometimes you'll get in a server and maybe there's a badmin in there, maybe you just have somewhat of a negative experience in that server and you don't particularly want to go in there again. You can now right click on a server and click add to radar. So if this server comes up in the browser again at some point in the future and you click on it, everything will now be red, indicating that it's on your radar and that might be a reason that you don't want to join that server. So moving on, we have some changes to the emblem personalization. Now I'm sure many of you will be used to the fact that you can import emblems by adding some code into the console within Chrome to make an emblem, but with Better Battle Log, they actually have that implemented into the plugin itself. So if we click on add here, we have this new button that pops up called Better Battle Log Emblem Gallery. Click on there and a load of emblems pop up. There's endless pages of these you know i could scroll through these for quite a while but i'm not going to do so in any case say we want to have a uh, good old gooby here we click on him click load emblem now it loads down below and that's it you just click save and use saves you quite a lot of time so moving on to the vehicle stats page if stats is something that is important to you you can look at your vehicles and get a little bit of information from battlefieldstats.com directly into the plugin. So if we click attack jet, it will show me that for the Q5 Phantom, I am in the top 3% of players using this vehicle. And of course, that's only based on kills. And if I scroll over here, it tells me that is out of 20,159 players. It will only rank people that have over 100 kills. You know, you can click down on all the vehicles, see where you rank 
if that really matters. You know, kills have never mattered too much to me personally, but it might be something that you're interested in. Moving on to the weapons, here things are much more simplified. You can now select a category instead of having to scroll down the endless list of weapons to find something, you know, when it's on all. You guys know how it is, right? You're trying to find a weapon, trying to find out how many kills you have. You want to find out how many kills you have with a particular shotgun. Click on shotguns and boom, they all pop up pretty damn nice. Maybe you want some more information about that. You can click on extended weapon information and you get most of the information pulled in from Simphic here that you would otherwise have by going over to Simphic. So we have all the stats, we have different graphs for damage over time, time to kill and bullets to kill. So there you go guys, it's a really nice plugin to have. I've been loving it since I've started using it and I'm well aware a number of you out there will almost definitely have heard of this because as you can see from the website it has been around since 2011 in Battlefield 3 as well as BF4 and quite frankly I don't really know how it's managed to slip me past but I have only just heard about it so I thought I would make a little video to enlighten those of you out there who are in the same boat as me and haven't heard of it also maybe some of you Christmas noobs out there need to get this still it is made by this man here, his name is Brain Fu Long. I will link his YouTube down below, as well, of course, a link to the website where you can get the plugin itself. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.